Welcome everybody, my name is Luciferian and today we're jumping back in for Lucius episode 6. We've taken out 11 people so far. I'm not sure how many more we have. I, I believe we're coming to uh, a close in the next few episodes on this though. Remember, remember the 5th of November. I'm not the powder, treason, or plot. <laughs> Alright, so this is probably going to have to do with a weapon of some sort. Because that's the gunpowder treaty. And he said it's not the powder treaty or plot. So... Right, we need to take these stairs. Whoop. Where do we get a gun, though? I haven't seen a gun. An invocation to Satan commands the dark forces to grant power to someone to enlist the infernal name for use in the invocation. Why do I always get the assignment? Where's my father? Hello, Lucius. I left some important papers on my nightstand. Can you go fetch them for me? Hello, Lucius. I left some important papers on my nightstand. Can you go fetch them for me? Important papers, nightstand. Go fetch them for him. Is that a chore? It isn't. What the heck? Alright. Where is the father's nightstand? Where, where's the father's room? I have to go all the way back around. I think. No, that's downstairs. I need to be upstairs for this. How'd I get here? You know what, let's... Let's follow the line just and uh, find our... Our kill target first. Then we'll go check the papers. Is this it? Oh no, I'm still way off. Okay. It's the teacher. What's up, teach? Where have you been, Lucius? I've been waiting for you. Let's James. He wants me to do math again. I hate math. I should ask for a day off from my okay, father. Lucius, from these three cards, show me the one you think is the correct answer. How much is one plus one plus one? Very good, Lucius. How much is one plus two, minus two. Very good, Lucius. How much is six, minus four, plus seven, minus four, plus five, minus eight? Man, this is a six-year-old. Now our next subject is <laughs> biology. Do you have your biology book with you? I almost uh, didn't keep up with that. Book? Let me see if I can find one for you. Hmm, it has to be here somewhere. All right. Uh, that ask for a day off from his father. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go find the father. Right, I'm perfectly fine, old man. Uh, where was he? He's probably just going to tell me to go what grab some stuff from his thing. Find something to occupy yourself. Wow. That was Hello, Lucius. I left some important papers on my nightstand. Some fucked up shit, man. Yeah. Important papers, nightstand. I'm a kid. You can't yell at me like that. Been here a month Lucius, now. How long you do they scared they me. Can just squander the the mother just if you want that bicycle stop. for Christmas, you need to start doing chores around the house. Mr. Quinn is waiting for you in the classroom. Hurry along now or you'll be late. 
Ah, I got to take out the garbage. All right. See, it's been a while since I've gotten a chore. So we had the music box. We have that Ouija board. But, uh, all right. Valuable papers. Is this it? There is a key near the papers. Looks like a drawer key. Get back to the father. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at this paper. I wonder if it tells us anything. No? I figured there might be some sort of a... Uh, if your father starts telling hint. you something about monsters and angels, just ignore him and he's just playing around. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Go bug your mom. Wow. I need to figure some things out. Thanks, Lucas. Dick. Something's not right. I need to check this out. Hello, sir. I was just wondering, have you any particular tasks for me today? Yeah, I forgot about that. Could you give me a minute? I just need to find something quick. No problem, sir. What is it you do all day? Find something to occupy yourself. Man, he a dick. Find something to occupy myself here. Woo! We got bullets! Alright. Is there something that goes with the bullets? Like, again... Zero six zero six nineteen sixty six. All right, six six nineteen sixty six. Lucius's birthday. Ah, uh, the gun's probably in here, huh? No, okay. Oh, you know, why did I do 196? I'm doing Lucius's birthday, 6 6 1966. Yeah, you, we're, we're not going to wa want to walk around with that, I think. I wonder if I can shoot people, or is this like not what I'm aiming for? What is it you do all day? Find something to occupy yourself. Man, I can't wait till we kill the dad. He's a dick. I found a gun inside the safe, but it's not loaded when the father. When my teacher cannot find something, he gets really frustrated. That makes his mind weak. All right. All right. So his mind's weak. That means it's mind control time. But like, at the same time, how am I going to... That's the, hmm. This is my control. You need to control him first. Ah, oh, dude. This is kind of difficult getting that right. There we go. 
Mind control him to the gun. Oh God, his eyes went black. Oh, look at that hole. Oh my. Lucius, if I were you, I'd, I'd get out of there. Your father's gonna suspect more. I the blood's just coming out like, like a geyser. Things just kept deteriorating. The boy's tutor killed himself. Everything should have been clear by now, but something was obscuring the truth. The gun he used belonged to Charles Wagner. But at the time of the shooting, Wagner was talking to his chauffeur in a different room. The gun was kept in a safe in Wagner's office and not even loaded. It baffles me how the teacher could have gotten to it. It made me think. He could have blackmailed the driver somehow and arranged this whole thing. But it was all just speculation. The mansion was in complete disorder. Mrs. Wagner was clearly suffering and in a fragile state. Some of the people I interviewed told me they had heard her talking to herself and laughing without any reason. Who could blame her? Especially after what happened next. It would have taken a genie to pull this one off. We did manage to discover that Uncle Tom's little film bin had another purpose. So there might have been a small hole for an opportunity. I just couldn't figure out how. Mr. Wagner was now completely convinced that somehow his family was cursed. It all seemed very far-fetched at the time. Yeah, no, uh, not that far-fetched. You know, we're the son of Satan. Peeping Tom, ooh. And his name was Tom. Hmm. I wonder if that was, no, that had to be on purpose. All of that had to be on purpose. All right. Religious people use me for faith. You must, might turn me and gain your strength. Well, that's the crosses, but that doesn't tell me anything specific, to be perfectly honest. So this is one of the first times like I've ever had one of those clues that didn't just tell me what to do. That's a door. We're going to kill this door. Oh, I'm going to murder that door. Susan, she is taking care of the laundry. Hi, Lucius. Hi. Okay. Well, it's named Peeping Tom, and the previous, uh, what is it? That, uh, what is the name of that thing that I'm thinking of? The, the commentary, the guy, right? He mentioned that it was about his film room or that his film room served another purpose, obviously. Keeping Tom and whatnot. Okay, so the cross in there. Oh, why do I have the camera? I don't mean to have the camera. All right. Uh, so we turn this cross. And do we go back into the naughty film room? Okay, cross turned. We're in the peeping Tom thing. But to be perfectly honest, I don't know what we do from here. It's about Susan. He said this film room served another purpose. But what? 
Well, okay, there's the the hole, obviously. But what else? Is there anything else? I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary I can grab. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Let's see what this is about. No, she just left. Okay. Let's go to the laundry and check here. Can we turn this? Okay. Water faucet. Oh. Can we break the laundry machine, maybe? Is that possibly what this is? Device that regulates airflow in the garage? Okay, so not what I need. Can I break the laundry machine with any of this? No. Uh, can I grab anything with this? Like maybe make too many bubbles? No, okay. Man, I am thoroughly confused. This had something to do with like turning a cross. But I otherwise have no idea what I'm doing. Keep looking around. Maybe something in the garage will tell me. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, the washer is broken again. Well, my shift is over, so it is off to the shower for me. Oh. Are we? Ooh, this is gonna be a little creepy, I think. But like, we'll see. <laughs> Literal peeping Tom scenario. I thought we were just gonna do something with the hole. Okay. It zoomed her into the bathroom. I was curious what was going to happen. Uh, but we need to get to the bathroom. Oh, wait. You can't go in the bathroom. Duh. She's in the bathroom. A cross was affecting my powers in the bathroom. I turned it. Susan is on her way to take a shower in the very same bathroom. Okay. And now it's time to be creepy. Oh, yeah. All right, so what do we do here? You need to control a human before you can use mind control. So it's not mind control that we're doing. Okay, so just naked woman there. Hmm. Anything else here? I can't even leave this room. All right. Here we go. Good 
Controlling stuff with telekinesis is like incredibly difficult. Like I'm, if I hit M2, it's supposed to like slowly bring it to me, but it's not. Oh, there we go. Oh, she just got launched. You've gained a new ability, combustion. This case has aged me considerably, Mr. Wagner. I'm no happier about being back here than you are to see me. I'm ready to take a whole new angle on things here. Another accident, right? Figures. I know it's starting to sound like a broken record, but the door was locked from the inside, so that's what it honestly looks like. Although my gut is telling me something else. Just do what you have to do. I honestly believe we've been cursed, and nothing can stop this. I hadn't ruled that out either. I asked the parish priest to come and offer counsel. So you told them to come here. My father reacted quite badly. We need to find your father, Mr. Wagner. I really believe he can provide us with more information. I don't know how much longer I can keep the feds off this. They're asking me questions about a reporter who went missing. He was investigating your family when it happened. Well, why you don't, you know, break into houses. Overdose of fumes. All right, let's see who we're killing today. Michael the driver. He hasn't done anything to me. He's been pretty chill. He has turned up the music. Somehow I need to get Will away from the garage. I do not choo choo. I eat no real food. I follow your commands and honk when you do. That's the, that's the car. Oh yeah. Well, I'm in fumes, car, garage. Okay. <sighs> All right. Like, it, it wasn't that difficult. I'm not sure why it took me a second. What am I doing? Where am I going? I'm trying to get down to the garage. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no. Let me go down one more level. Actually, the driver's annoying. Him, him and his music. Sloth. The driver is sloth. Not so sure. I mean, I guess this is all right. But to tell you the truth, I'm getting a bit tired of it. Hello, son. You can't be serious. I mean, listen to this. Shh, listen. You know, time passes a lot faster with music. Hello. Alright. Turn up the music. Somehow I need to get Will away from the garage. How do I get Will away from the garage? Uh, you know, I'm going to take a guess that it's this over here. That right there. Regulates airflow in the garage. Can I, like, blow that up? No. You need to control a human before that. Okay. Uh, can I break this somehow? Okay. No. Uh, can I blow up the radio? Can I just launch a fireball at him? <laughs> Is there anything I can make him grab around here? Hey 
there, little dude? Son. Well, something I can grab this paint thinner. You know, time passes all However, I'm not allowed to. Hey, can you hear that? I think there's something wrong with the washer dam. Hello, son. You know, time passes a lot faster with music. Shh, listen. Okay, is that not what I'm supposed to do? No, along the garage, there might be a way to get to him now. You know. All right, so the paint thinner, not it. Or, let's see here. Oh, it says I, I need to put this on the table. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to assume mind control. We mind controlling him to make himself pass out with paint thinner. Okay. Uh... I managed to pour a paint thinner on a rag and Michael has fainted without Will noticing anything. I think I need to do something creative here. Well, let's watch him pass out first. That's very poor passing out. Oh, I can now interact with... I thought I could interact with the car. Oh, there it is. All right, here we go. Oh, we turned the car on with that? Car is running, but the ventilation sure is taking the fumes from the room. All right. So. Seems that I can start the car with my mind without Will hearing it over the music. The fumes just aren't staying in. All right. But we know how to take care of that. Maybe. That's the ventilation system. How do I turn that off? And what up? How does one turn off the ventilation system? Hmm. Why can't I turn this off? Hey there, little dude. Do I need to mind control him? Turn it off. Ha ha ha! That worked! Oh, look at his neck. It is just like curled inside of his body. Boom! <laughs> No, sir. I didn't see anything. I was in the other room trying to fix the washer. When I came back, the car was running, and he was lying on the floor. Let me get this straight. You were in the next room and didn't hear the car starting by itself. No, sir. I didn't hear anything over the music. I know how it sounds, but I swear I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, right. Well, you can explain that to the judge. I'm going to go get the deputy here. So this is just to make sure you don't go do anything stupid. You just handcuffed a man to a pole for me. I'm going to assume I just hit him with the fireball.
Yeah, things are going my way. The detective actually thinks the will had something to do with Michael's death. He's been cuffed to the shelf. I need to act quickly before the cops return. I can feel my powers getting stronger and stronger. It will not matter anymore if he sees my true self. Okay, so. I I got I had this little like firecracker pop there. <laughs> You have to regain your strength first. What do you mean? Is this not working out for me? Like, I've killed multiple people. What am I trying to grab here? A hammer? Oh, there's the cop. What the shit? <sighs> All right. So apparently we don't have... Oh, okay. Well, that's not a good start. We don't have enough power for... Uh... Oh, there's a gas can above him. We don't have enough power to like actually just kill him with fire and it's not allowing us to. <laughs> oh, you're going to be extra crispy. I managed to slip out without them catching me. <laughs> like, did they not smell? What the hell happened? A burned body the room from there? Like five seconds. Holy shit, is that Will? I just had coffee with him this morning. I can't take much more of this. We need to leave this godforsaken place. We are not going anywhere. Call the paramedics and let them know we have another body here. <laughs> Look at them eyes. Why are we still here? We should leave now. I'm not staying a minute longer inside this house. Nancy, I need you to be calm. I've called the priest for help. If they can't, no one can. You can't still seriously believe that a seven-year-old boy could be behind this. That's what I'm going to find out. In the meantime, stay away from Lucius. Listen, Charles, I'm going to wait for you in the garden with our son. If you don't show up, then we will leave without you. That thing is not our son, and I'm going to- Call me a you. thing? What a dick. I'm a kill daddy. American schizophrenic. Ooh. All right, guys, we're going to jump back into this one in the next episode. We've killed 15 people so far. It looks like we're coming down to the most important people, the priests and the parents. Guys, I will see you in the next episode. Hope you liked it, this one. Make sure if you did, you hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you next episode.